American Classic. Remember American Classic? Well, they're back in tire form. There's road and city tires, but I'm most interested in the new gravel range, which I've been lucky enough to have in for testing. So let's cover all the details of this uh, very surprising new release because there is a lot of interest going on here that I want to cover. I want to talk price and purchasing first because this is probably one of the biggest points of interest for this entire release. Every tube type tire variant that I'm going to talk about costs 30 US dollars and every tubeless tire variant that I'm going to talk about costs 35 US dollars and they're all going to be sold consumer direct through Amazon and distributed directly to consumers starting in the United States only. I'm not sure whether there are plans for that to change in future and they're going to expand into the rest of the world. That's just the information that was given to me as part of the initial press release. And I'll come back to talk about this more a little bit later, but when I heard about those prices, I almost couldn't believe it because for a performance tire, that is just crazy cheap. So with that low, low price in mind, it's time to actually talk about the tires. And let's cover the road first before I get onto the more exciting ones, which is the gravel tires. The Timekeeper is all about performance and it comes in 25 and 28 millimeters, both tubed and tubeless. The Torch Bearer is the all-rounder road tire in sizes 25, 28, 32, and with tubeless and tubed variants. The Lamp Lighter is their city and e-bike recommended tire that's in bigger 700C and 650B sizes, but is tube type only. Okay, with that out of the way, it's now time to talk about the fun stuff, the gravel tires, and there is a lot to cover here. The American Classic tire range feels like a very good cover band churning out well-selected hits. The tread patterns on offer would likely feel familiar to most gravel riders. There's five different patterns to choose from in total, all available in 700C by 40 and 50 millimeters and 650B by 47 millimeters. There's black and tan wall variants across the range, but they are all tubeless only. So starting with the range, let's go from sort of fastest through to grippiest. And that starts us with the Kimberlite. And this is your classic smooth center tread with knobbly shoulder design that you see quite commonly across a lot of brands. And this is a very popular market category for people who are sticking to the sort of smoother end of the gravel grinding spectrum, people who are doing sort of mixed terrain stuff. Personally, I don't gravitate towards tires like this. I always like to have a little bit more grip than you think you'll need, but I know there are just tons of people who love tires in this category. Next up is the Aggregate, which is one of the tires that American Classic sent me for testing. And again, this is a very familiar tread pattern that we have seen from multiple other brands before. It'll get you a little further off the road than the Kimberlite, but it's still a fairly fast rolling tire. One thing to note is that the center knobbly tread is a fair bit shallower than the shoulder. And that is a little bit of a departure from other tires of this particular type that I've seen from other brands. So far in my early riding, it is still plenty quick and has a pretty decent amount of grip. The Uden is the next tire up and I also did get a set of these, but I don't have enough bikes to actually have fitted them right away yet. So they're still sitting in their box waiting and looking like quite a lot of fun. We are starting to get grippier now. These have been designed to have a decent amount of rolling speed, but with a tread pattern that can also shed mud if you are happening to ride in some gross conditions. I like this type of tire around summer when it's not quite as wet, but you still want a little bit of grip on things like trails. These will be up for testing once I have chewed through those aggregates. The Wentworth is where the American Classic range starts to get properly grippy. And when you take a look at them, these are very reminiscent of a fast rolling XC tire. It is another tire that I look at and it certainly appeals to me. It's always good to know that you are leaving the house with more grip than you'll probably need. Finally is the Crumbanes, which is the tire that I have spent quite a lot of time on, racked up around 600 kilometers on one of the sets that I've been sent. They came along at a really perfect time, right in the mid of winter when I do gravitate towards those very grippy tires. These do have a quite pronounced knobbly tread to them, but importantly, they also have a good amount of gap. That means that they do bite down the terrain nice and hard, 
and they don't get sort of overwhelmed too much by mud. You have to be going through something pretty deep and pretty sloppy before you feel like you're a little bit out of grip. I'll save my full thoughts on these tires for the dedicated video review, but I'm more than happy to go on record here and say that they are remarkably good, especially when you factor in that low price point, which is something I would like to talk about a bit more. It's easy to look at the low retail price of these tires and think that they mustn't have been very good and they've cut a few corners, but the reality is that they're excellent. So far, the ones I've tested have performed remarkably well given that price point. And I think the simple answer is the sheer power of consumer direct sales. They're saving costs on forming distribution networks around the world, and they're also completely cutting bike shops out of this one. And you know, that's a whole other conversation that we can have for another video. But you know, all of those things do save cost in the final consumer price. Finally, I think American Classic is playing a volume game here. They're gonna to have to shift a lot of units into the market to make that price point viable long-term. Given their price and given that they're available on Amazon, I do think they are gonna shift a lot of units initially into America and then we'll see how they go around the world after that. Only time will tell whether this is a sustainable idea for them long term, but I do expect this is going to make a few ripples in the industry in the short term. Naturally, my plan is to do full video reviews for each tire I've had in for testing, but there's just a couple of other points of interest that I wanted to cover as part of this release. First, I really love what they're doing with the packaging. They send all of the tires in the same design of cardboard box. Then once you bust out the tires, they are each wrapped in just a very light piece of paper. And I really like that they're doing this. I have seen other tire manufacturers shipping in boxes and whatnot, but I think this is the first one that I can recall that didn't come with any single little piece of plastic that I had to throw away. Next is an offered one-time 50% off tear replacement policy. It seems like if you get a bad tear in a tire while riding, then they will offer you a one-time 50% off code or something to buy a replacement tire. I haven't seen any of the fine print and I don't actually know how that will work in practice, but it is a positive thing to see them backing their product enough to offer that even though it's already at such a low price. I'm sure eventually there will be forum threads talking all about how American Classic is to deal with when these claims are made. Wrapping up then, I find this whole new American Classic ecosystem to be really fascinating. The aggressive pricing and the consumer direct system of sales, I do think is going to make some noise within the tire market. Of course, the only way they can pull off any of this is if the tires are good. And my testing so far has shown that they most certainly are that. But you're gonna have to wait for the full reviews to hear all of my thoughts on each of these tires. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. There are links to all of the tires on Amazon in the description below if you wanna click through and check it out. And also feel free to leave a comment if you've got any thoughts on this. It's quite a lot to take in and I've had a few weeks to think about it and I do have some thoughts, but I'm curious about how the rest of the sort of consumers are going to receive it. There's a lot going on here and I find it all very interesting and it could set a bit of a trend for future releases in the bicycle market. All right, I'm gonna get going. Don't forget to ride safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.